Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel, it's me again, Insane Gorilla, and welcome to, for a long time coming, back to what if Deku was a faller, not fallen, what if Deku was a hive. Now you, some of you have been asking me, when will I come back to this, when will I come back? I'm now coming back to it because I'm replacing what if Deku was a Gundam pilot with this because I recently went through all the likes and dislikes. Not many of you like the Gundam one anymore. So that one's being completely dropped because it's clear to me that you guys do not like it anymore. So I'm going to be doing this one as promised. So now let's get off where we last left off. Where Deku is being targeted by the vanguard of the last city in old Russia and they're sending a team to America to help the American last city. With Deku actually being the highest priority you see him, you kill him. Deku is actually finishing up one of his own patrols. Helping his, well, helping his faction out. Securing some more area, leading attacks personally. Mainly against the Fallen. Is well, they finish up one group of well, one outpost of fallen as the guardian ships zoom overhead. As Deku would just instantly realize who they are, as he says, forget. Securing this area, we return to base. We return to stronghold and we keep it secured. Yes, they do. Retreat, heading back to their well, main base of operations. Deku ain't stupid. He ain't gonna have multiple outposts, like hive breeding areas. He's just gonna have one massive breeding area for the hive. As they've all returned to his, well, to their stronghold, which is still in a mountain. And nobody knows where it is, apart from one of the Guardians. We all know who that one is. Is he enters his stronghold. He is greeted by all of the hive that is in there fighting each other as the, he walks into a fighting pit as he sees the hive fighting one another to well, get stronger some ogres and everything else for all acolytes Boomers, or Boomer Knights, what, there we go guys, okay, sorry about that you guys, anyway, where I left off was that Deku was in the fighting pit, where high, where the Hive Knights, Thrall, Acolytes, Ogres, and all that fight to feed their worms and become stronger. 
as he well walks through he spots a few knights standing there as they point their swords at him saying we go us free challenge you as well Deku obliges them because he's got to keep his own practice up as they all all four of them clash one another clash into one another three on one Deku well skillfully takes the weakest of them out as he mocks the other two saying weaklings like you do not deserve to even be in this hive you do not even deserve my graces in this duel let's see which one of you is the next weakest as he well clangs his axe with a, another knight well another knight's sword he shatters it in its entirety as the knight well still tries to attack him with his fists Deku just simply splits his head in half as he drops dead and like all hive they disintegrate just leaving their armour with this last hive knight standing there defiantly saying weaklings yes but we have to prove ourselves as he gets cut cut down by Deku as he leaves the fighting pits and walks down the corridors for a bit more for a few more minutes he reaches the comms unit well the communications area of hive acolytes and knights and a few wizards all praying in unison to the larger hive forces all over earth primarily all of the chosen hive champions by Krota himself in old Russia with a hive wizard approaching Deku saying master there is a problem there have been so quite a lot of guardians appearing in old America we do not know what they are planning but I think it might be to do with us what are your orders should we prepare for a dramatic defense or a dramatic attack as Deku says, how about this? Prepare for a full-on counter-assault. When these guardians come to find us, I want everybody. And I mean everybody ready for them. Understood? Yes, master. As the well, wizard flies off, telling everybody the news. And as he well goes to the opposite side of the shrine, well, of communion, he communicates with Sardon, the fist of Crota. I actually remembered the guy's name this time. As he speaks to him, as the conversation goes a bit like this, Zardon, a word. As Zardon speaks, saying, what do you want? I am busy at the minute, talking to Crota. 
As Decuta says, be silent. Crota, yes, you are talking to Crota, but I need your expertise. I have a group of guardians coming to kill me. I don't want to split your forces off, so I'm going to ask for some advice. As Zardon gives him the advice, it, advice he needs. As Deku ha tells him that he's a great warrior and thank you for the information. I will not disturb you again. My apologies, Lord Crota. As he leaves their conversation. As he goes through all of the under base where the brood spawning pits are. As he wit bears witnesses, witness to dozens of hive being but hive thralls, hive thralls being spawned, but he could notice some of them had strange mutations. As he asks one of the brood mothers, is this an experiment that you guys that they were running behind his back? As the brood mother replies, saying no. We've been killing these. As Deku takes one look at them, saying these of fear and cunt. What better way to scare the enemy than having thralls, acolytes, and knights with spikes on their backs? These mutations are just what I need for a scary factor. To make it look like the hive are becoming something more than just a nuisance. Keep them around. I want to see how far this mutation will go. And she bows, saying, Very well, I'll tell the other brood mothers. And by the way, there's a fourth brood mother, one that has taken up the art of being a brood mother very well. I believe she be an interest to you. And she well, flies off. Deku chuckling saying, <laughs> I'll have to see about that. As he walks deeper, he comes across another fighting pit. But this one with stronger warriors. As one challenges Deku to a fight to the death. As that fight goes on, Deku is actually on the... Well, does not have the upper hand. This knight is actually a lot stronger than what he could ever imagine. With him saying, Good, I've always wanted a strong opponent. Time for me to really ramp up the death of you. As he ramps it up, it's time to overpower the Knight that was stronger than what he expected. With the knight shouting, I will not die here today. I will survive. As he pushes back. Then this fight goes on for hours. With Deku actually enjoying it. Saying... The three that challenged me earlier were weaker than you. 
I believe you could kill me. But then he says, but that's in your wildest dreams. Good day and goodbye, strong warrior. As he well punches the hive, in, hive knight in the face, then cleaves his head off. As well, the knight dies as a tomb ship that he didn't see or hear arrive does. Well, he does see it. Him actually being confused of why a hive tomb ship would just simply appear in the middle of the, well, fighting pit. This want this tube ship releasing a well releasing Omnigol as she comes over to him saying Crota wishes to speak with you as they get on the hive ship tomb ship as they leave. Going straight to Crota with Deku bowing to him Saying, my master, I believe I have dishonoured you and will take my life to re-honour you. As Crota would say, no need for that. How long has it been, hmm? Since we last talked? A few months ago? As the kid would say, yes, it was a few months ago. As the quote would say, ah, yes. There's a few things I want to speak with you about. Omnigol, leave us and bring a newer complacency hive with you. When you come back, because I believe that one will suit him just fine. That's only goal. Bells saying as you wish, Crota. As she, well, leaves. As Dicky would say, Master, what do you wish of me? As Crota would say, I have a proposal for you. As he starts speaking about it, as Omnigold returns, saying, I have brought the wizard here, Master. She is... I will speak for myself on the goal. I do not care about traditions. High Lord Crota, your servants have come. With Deku standing up saying, You will pay our Lord his respect he deserves. Master, permission to kill this wannabe hive. Wizard. With Crota saying, for this disrespect, you may kill her. As the he walks over to her, him actually towering over her, as she'd say, you do not scare me, whelp. I do not break easily. As if Deku would actually swing down the axe. As she would actually put up a barrier, as the axe would go straight through it. Narrowly missing her, because she flies backwards. As it skims her face as she would say how 
Is this possible? I am the strongest wizard ever. I'm stronger than Omnigol. With Omnigol screaming, saying, No one's stronger than me with the wizardry. With our magic. You only think you're stronger. We are the chosen of Krota. We are the strongest and more toughest, tougher, stronger, faster, and more violent. Now pay your respects, girl, with your life. As Krota would just say, enough. I believe she's finally learned her lesson. With everybody standing still, as Krota would say, Now, Deku, she is part of your hive now. I want you to break that city using her magic. She will be bringing all of her wizards with her, which will greatly deplenish my wizards here. But not to worry, I have plenty more to in reserves that are waiting their upliftments by Omnigol. Oh, and one more thing, leave us you two, now. As they leave with that female wizard just leaving off in a huff, saying, hey, great. Now, Deku, take my power. For context, for context, you guys. The power that I'm talking about is the power that Crowder has as well. So, when the duck below... You know what? I'm not going to say what's going to go on. What's going to happen? That would just have to be a surprise. Basically, what Crota's going to do in this story is Deku's going to have a special anointment. Something that he didn't know Crota could do. But it'll also imprint of who to watch out for as well and we all know her the wizard who tricked him into opening up a vex portal a tear in reality to oryx's throne room throne world savafoom 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 yeah savafoom Anyway, as Crota breaks a piece of his crystal off and slams it with his own magic into Deku, as Deku says, Master, what are you doing, Master? As Crota would say, giving you my strength. My power, my intelligence. You will become me incarnate. You will be like my avatar. Bring destruction to that pitiful city. Bring death. Bring honor. Bring glory. Bring death. For the sword logic. To honour me and to honour my father, Oryx, the taken king. If I am to die here, I want you to take my brood. You will have me always beside you, no matter what. Well, as the power starts getting stronger, this actually, well, getting someone to take notice of what the Hive are now doing, 
as she rushes over to America, saying, I have to warn the vanguard of the American city. I have to warn them, and I have to warn them fast. The Hive are planning a ritual, or have started a ritual, to bring Crota back. First, the city in America. Then the city over in old Russia. They have to know this. And I just hope I'm not too late. And she would send a message to the last city in America. And she says, This is Eris Morn. Permission to land in dockyards. Urgent, tran urgent message for the vanguard. This is so urgent that I'm going to run as soon as I land. Get them in position. Get them ready for a meeting now. As somebody on the other side would say. Excuse me, ma'am, but who are you? I've never heard of this Eris Morn. I am an expert on the hive. I'm, you, I'm also one of Akura's rays. Agents. No, I work for a core array from the Vanguard in Old Russia. Very well, ma'am. You may land. Going to anyway. As she will, lands and rushes to the Vanguard, which is All Might, Shoto Teroki, and, well, Midnight. <clears throat> As she rushes in. Saying, Commander All Might, Commander Shoto, Commander Aizawa, Midnight. There's a huge problem with the Hive. Prepare yourselves for combat. As All Might would speak up, saying, What about the Hive? We've been fighting them on all fronts. They've been doing nothing but getting, getting stronger. We also have a group of guardians here that have faced a certain hive knight stronger and tougher than the last ones that we've had. He didn't they didn't cause us any problems. But now that this hive knight hive knight has turned up, the hive have gotten stronger, faster, more vicious in their attacks. We believe an attack on the city is imminent. So no offence to you, Eris Morn. You're a bit late on the uptake. Go back to the old Russia. Go and tell your vanguard. Leave us to our own duties. All might. I suggest you hear her out first. I agree with him, all might. You should hear her out. <sighs> Fine. What do you want us to do about it, Eris Morn? That's simple, All Might. Prepare the whole city for a hive invasion. For a hive invasion? That's impossible. The hive can't even breach the city walls. They won't be coming from the walls. The Hive have enacted a ritual. This ritual? The strongest Hive Knight you have ever seen has become something far, far worse than just a strong knight. He has become ascended. Through high rituals and magic, he has become something even stronger, even more vicious. Almost like the almost like the great disaster on the moon. That is what we'll be facing. Have you ever heard of the hive hive god Crota? With Aizawa, 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 All Might, and 
Midnight Shack saying, yes, we've heard of this Crota fella. It's all like a good flashback to when the Guardians were warlords. And him facing one called All for One. Killing him and telling his ghost to find someone better to resurrect. As one might say, if, if this Crota fella is ever coming back to life from five magic, then we're all doomed. As, well, Eris Morn says, he's not coming back just yet, but the Hive have made a ritual making one of their hive warrior hive chosen into an ascendant hive these ascendant hive have their own throne worlds his is small for now but once he gets used to it he can expand it however hard high and harshly as he wants I believe our friends may be able to help us. You guys know who I speak of. The Fallen. Yes, the former members of the Red Hearts. Gain contact with him. I need him and his group to help us. That's out of the question, Eris Morn. He has dropped our contact with us. We believe he may be dead. I don't think so. I have seen his handiwork. He is alive and he is walking around with others. He may have just had to drop out of communications for a while. He is one for getting himself into trouble. And also figuring a way out of it. You have his frequency. Call him. Tell him to meet me in old Russia. No questions all night. Because I need to go to old Russia now and tell the old Russia vanguard from the last city there to prepare for a war with the Hive of the Moon. But I also now believe this hive was that was created may even become stronger than Crota himself. And she walks off. And that is actually where I'm leaving it, fellas. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And the next one will be what if... Deku was a fallen. Just to give you a bit more context on who he is. In this one, the fallen Deku, Deku who is a fallen of the Red Hearts, does not exist. This is how, well, Deku's house of the Red Hearts became so uh, depleted. In uh, ether and manpower. So, see you all then. TTFN, ta ta for now.